Good morning, dear hearts. We are at a new section in part two of the workbook. Starts today, what is the last judgment? And so, as has been the habit with this part two of the workbook, when we start a new section, there will be two videos today. The first one about this central or special thought, as the course calls it, and then another video later about today's actual lesson. So, what is the last judgment? So the last judgment is what occurs when all perception ends. And this will happen when we know that what is true is true and what is false is false and has never been true, all right? This is when the voice for God, the Holy Spirit, speaks to us and informs us, We and we actually hear what he is telling us, okay? The last judgment is not something to be afraid of. So what we find out when what is true is true and what is false is false, never has been true and cannot ever be true, we find out that what is truly true has no opposites and no conditions. All is forgiven with the final judgment. With this final judgment, no sin exists anymore. So that means no misperception exists anymore. No suffering is in our realm of awareness anymore. Um, and without that, and anything that is without a true purpose will be released, what would a true purpose be? A true purpose would be something that is going to heal the mind of the Son of God. So what this special thought tells us is that bodies are now useless and will therefore fade away because the Son of God is limitless. We are coming in to the awareness of our own truth with the last judgment. Um, the last judgment is not the condemnation of the world. It is the release of the world and all of its beliefs and effects. It is, as I said, it is the completion of suffering in any form and it then becomes the return to love and to peace, which is where we are meant to be, okay? We are to release all that is not beneficial to the Son of God, to the child of God. That is what the last judgment does. Um, this, this thought, this section tells us that the God's final judgment is as merciful as every step in his appointed plan to bless his son and call him to return to the eternal peace he shares with him. It says, do not be afraid of love. We had a lesson not too long ago that told, told us um, that I will not be afraid of love today. These are all in preparation. It also says that with the final judgment, all tears will be wiped away. Lesson 301, God himself shall wipe away all my tears. We are coming into this state of purification and knowing of who we really are, of claiming our identity and completing the salvation of the world. The last paragraph of this section, uh, of this thought, what is the last judgment, it's really beautiful and it's very much what we would think any parent, words would they would speak to their child. And it's God telling us that he sees all of the goodness and all of the mercy in us and to tell us that we are indeed forever loved that we are limitless because we are as he created us. And it, the last line says, therefore awaken and return to me 
I am your father and you are my son. Um, so, as I have been going through my writing and putting together for my next book, my first book is Good Morning Dear Hearts and it's available on my website, JanetWeisman.com or on Amazon. Um, I came across something that's very appropriate for today and it is, um, it's a poem, I guess you could say, and it's, it's um, as I would see God speaking to us. And it, is, it says, Dear child of God, you must know how much you are loved, how your smallest or greatest wish is the same to me, how I await your homecoming, even though I know you never left me. Dear child, do you feel at ease where you are? Would you desire perfect wholeness and peace? These are among my gifts to you. They are part of your inheritance. Dear child, my child, you are loved unconditionally and eternally. Rest in that thought and be comforted. I am here for you always. So, and that's the last judgment. So I hope this helped. I hope this was comforting and explanatory. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, um, and I will be back in a little while. Namaste.